misplacement there. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll fix that one, and we'll fix that one. So now they're doing it. This might be a nice chance to go here and select on this and go switch over to landscape. It looks like it's doing something sensible, so that's good. Okay, everybody got that? Just a little review of auto layout there. All right, so let's put this inside of a navigation controller. So I'm going to embed in navigation controller. So that puts that here. That's good. Let's go ahead and put a title in here. We'll call this Imaginarium. Uh, now I want to segue when any of these buttons is pressed to do this. So I'm just going to control drag. So let's control drag this one, push, control drag this one, push, and control drag this one push. Now you see I've got these three uh, segues in here. If I click on one, it'll tell me what, send, what, what is causing that segue to happen, which is kind of a nice feature. Now what am I going to use for my identifier for here? Well actually I'm going to be a little bit tricky here. I'm going to use the name of the photo as the identifier and then in my prepare for segue I will use that to pick which of the three photos I'm going to show. So you know it's a demo so I'm trying to make this as little code as possible. So here's the, my three things are going to have these three identifiers and I need to do prepare for segue in this guy, right? So let's go do that. Let's do it this way. Let's go over here to our view controller. We don't need any of this. This is our generic view controller on the side there. So I only need to implement prepare for segue and I'm going to use the image view controller that I just created because it's the thing I'm going to segue to, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the segue's destination view controller is kind of class an image view controller, okay, then I know how to uh, segue to that. So I, oops, one more square bracket there. Uh, so I'm just going to create a local variable here, image view controller IVC equals image view controller segue.destination controller, which I know is okay because I did this introspection right here, so I know this is line is not going to cause a problem. And then I'm just going to say ivc.imageurl, okay, remember this is the public API of our image view controller, okay, and that's what we do when prepare for segues. We call public API on the destination view controller. So I'm going to set that to be nsurl, uh, url with string, and I'm going to make a string with a format, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this thing right here that I went to, this Apple thing, so let's copy that, and paste it in here, paste. But instead of just doing photo one here, I'm going to use the segue identifier. Okay? And just so we can see what's going on, I'm also going to set the title of that view controller to be the segues identifier as well, the little photo under bar one or photo one or two, just so we can see at the top what it is. So everyone understand what I'm doing in prepare for segue here? How I'm preparing my image view controller to do what it wants to do? Okay, so let's see if uh, we got everything working here. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. And try to get it working on our device here. Oh, here comes something. All right, so look, it's starting off in uh, landscape mode. I can rotate to either one. So let's try to take a look at the flower. Now, it, it did show me the flower, at least the upper <laughs> corner of it, but I can't scale around, I can't zoom, I can't do anything. I could go look at the peppers. Notice that my UI is kind of stuck. When I press jellyfish, ah, now I can't, like, I can't change my mind. Once I change preppers, okay, I can't change my mind. And that's because I'm blocking that main queue by doing this fetch, okay? So we're gonna see how to fix that um, a little bit later. So this is good so far, but it'd be a lot nicer if I could <laughs> take a look at this flower, right? Scroll around and look at it. So let's do that next. And we're gonna do that by adding a scroll view. So I'm just gonna go here to my storyboard and here inside my image view controller, this is my image view controller, I'm going to add a scroll view. And we do that just by going down here where we add everything from and finding a scroll view. I think it's down towards the bottom. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, scroll view. I'm just gonna pull it out. I'm gonna ma make it match the whole thing. I'm gonna actually do reset to suggested constraints. I always like to see if it actually picked good constraints, which it did. Okay, it's going to have that scroll view stick to the edges. So as we rotate or if it were in a different size view or whatever, it would stick to its edges. I, I really like that. Um, 
let's also wire up a outlet for that, an outlet for that. We'll call it scroll view. All right, so we have that, so now we can talk to the scroll view. And all I really need to do to make this work is instead of adding the image view as a sub view of the view, I'm going to add it as a sub view of the scroll view. But of course, this will not work. I'll go ahead and prove to you this will not work. And I'm doing this intentionally and take time to do this because you'll make this mistake as well, a very common mistake. Let's look at the flower. Here's the flower. Oh, it's not working. Okay, it's in that scroll view. I know I put it in a scroll view. How come it's not working? Anyone want to tell me why? Content size, exactly. We have to set the content size. Because right now the scroll view doesn't know where to scroll over. And you might ask, why is it even showing anything here? And the answer is, I think scroll view, when you add it in a storyboard, it might set its content size to be its bounds or something like that. So it's just some defaulting that's even making it so we see anything there. Okay, so let's go back here and fix that. So where do we want to set the content size then? And let's make sure we can see all this code. All right. Um, the content size, for sure we want to set any time we change the image, we want to set the content size. There's no doubt about that. So let's do this, self.scrollview.content size, oops, size, equals self.image.size. Okay, now this line of code could cause trouble if self.image is nil. Because I told you that if you have a method, and this is just a getter uh, of the image, that returns a struct and you send it to nil, you'll get undefined results. So this is bad. So let's protect against that. Self.image question mark, then we'll use the size. Otherwise, we'll use CG size zero, which is zero by zero. Okay? Now, this will work, but there's actually one other place that we need to put this. And that, maybe surprisingly, is in set scroll view. In other words, in the setter for this outlet, this scroll view outlet right here, it's just an outlet, we want equals scroll view, we want to make sure that we do this exact same line of code. And why is that? Well, the reason for that is this scroll view property might get set after this happens. Specifically, prepare for segue, right? Prepare for segue happens before your outlets get set. Make sense? So this set image is going to be happening because of this set image URL, which happens in the prepare for segue. And so the scroll view is not even set up at that time, so this is going to be nil at the time that is executed. Okay, everyone understand that? No? I don't, nod your head if you understand. Uh, not too many of you. Okay, well, you might have to think about that one a little bit. Okay, no, just understand that your outlets are not, sent, are not set when prepare for segue is preparing you. Okay, so prepare for segue is setting this image URL, which is happening this, which is causing this, which is going down to here, which is trying to do this, but this is nil. So this line will do nothing we're sending a message to nil here, so it just does nothing. So later, when this outlet comes along and gets set, then if we have an image, we want to make sure that we set our content size. Okay? All right, so you can cogitate on that. Meanwhile, let's run this. And hopefully now it'll work. So we'll look at the flower. And oh, it's working. Okay, so there's our flower. It's a little hard to see because we can't zoom in. All right, it would be nice to be able to zoom in on this. Same thing with the peppers. The peppers, a little nicer to look at. This, this, that's not so nice to look at. But here you can look at the peppers over here. Okay, so these are too big. Obviously, we want to zoom in. So how are we going to zoom in? Let's do that. Zooming in, really simple. Remember I said you only need to do two things. Okay, one is you got to set the scroll views minimum and maximum zoom scale. So we'll let it zoom into, let's say, 20%. Uh, of the size of this image and or zoom out and then uh, we'll have the maximum zoom scale be two times okay so we won't allow the image to get any bigger than twice as big and we'll zoom down to 20 percent and the other thing we need to do besides sending those is to set the scroll views delegate and implement that other method so I'm going to set the scroll views delegate to self okay this causes a warning you see that yellow triangle 
Why do you think there's a warning here before I click on it? Anyone? Yeah. Can you specify the, the delegate method of like which sub you to actually zoom into? Yes. So the, that's yes, but there's an indirect step. And this warning is actually telling me something slightly different. Um, but it's, it's, it's telling me something on the way to exactly what you're saying, which is we've got to implement that view to zoom thing. But that's not what this warning is warning us about. This warning is saying that you are assigning this delegate to an object that does not implement the scroll view delegate protocol. Okay? Now, that's not implementing the methods. That's declaring that it does it. That's this up here. Okay? This is what it's complaining about, is that you don't declare self, which is this image controller, to implement the delegate protocol. Okay? So remember the delegate protocol, there's two things. One, they're saying that you do it, and then number two is doing it. Okay? So it's the saying that you do it that it was complaining about, and now it's not complaining, even though I don't actually implement any of those methods. Okay? Why is that not complaining? Because they're all optional. If any of those methods were required, then it would be complaining here. It would be saying, you don't implement this required method. Okay? So, but since they're all optional, it doesn't do it. But it's not really optional for us because we want zooming. It's only optional because zooming is optional. But we have to specify here the view for zooming and scroll view. Okay? We have to return which of the subviews we want to, to zoom, and we only have one, which is our image view. So we're going to return that, and it's going to cause the image view to be zoomed when zooming happens in the scroll view. If we returned nil here, then that pan, the zooming rather, pinching would do nothing in the scroll view. Okay? It's only going to zoom, i.e. change the transform of whatever subview you specify by returning here. Okay? So let's try this. Let's see if we can zoom in. All right, so we got the flower. Here's our flower. Let's try zooming in. Indeed, we can. Okay, we can zoom around. Now, I haven't set it so that it zooms small enough uh, to be smaller than the scroll view, but because I'm holding it right here, if I let it go, it zooms out. But if I allowed that, then what would happen is you'd have this white border at the bottom. You see that? And that white border, that's the background color of the scroll view showing through. Okay? And I can zoom in. I can zoom even in so far that it starts to get a little pixelated because I'm zooming in more than the picture even has pixels to show me. So right, right in the middle there, you can see a little stair step. Okay? Makes sense. We can look at another one, the peppers. Okay, here's the peppers. Let's zoom down. Okay? Makes sense. So we're making really good progress here. One problem, though, is if I say flowers and then, oh, it's... Again, my UI is blocked. What's going on? I really got to fix that. Okay? We don't want our UI to be blocked when we pick one. For example, if I pick jellyfish, I might, if it's taking a long time, I might want to change my mind and then go pick flower. Okay? So I want to be able to do stuff in my UI uh, without it being blocked by this network call. Okay? So let's fix that. And the way we're going to do that is by doing that URL fetch, this one right here, in another thread okay, on a different queue. And so how are we going to do that? Really, really simply, I'm just going to get rid of this line of code, comment it out actually, and I'm going to